I've just spent the night in the hotel behind me and we'll talk about that a bit later on but I'm at Stoke Park uh, not too far from London just outside of Windsor it's a great venue and probably one of the um, one of the best parkland courses in the UK as I've heard I've not played as yet I've played a few holes but today it's the venue for the return of man versus gold Right, so we're going to kick things off on a, what, in theory, nice easy par three. That never works out that way, does it? But it's 141, uh, slightly downhill. Big feature of Stoke Park in the holes that I seen yesterday is a fair few bunkers, and uh, that happens on this one as well. So I'm going, I'm going to play a wedge downhill and see how we go. I think it's a little bit short and it was a little bit thin as well. It was certainly one of the first swings of the morning, but uh, I got away with it. I think we're front half of the green. Right, you see it as I do. Uh, so I think, as I said, I got away with that one, but front half of the green and, uh, well, birdie chance. Nice backdrop. Right. Uh, Quick mention to the hotel because uh, very fortunate to stay here last night and uh, as you can see, pretty uh, luxurious that place. I think it's a five-star hotel and uh, there's some interesting play and stay offers that they've got during the winter and I can only highly recommend it. Very, very nice indeed. Anyway, back to the putt. On the four holes, five holes that I played yesterday, um, quite pacey and uh, I was conscious I ran quite a few by which is a great testament to the greens at this time of year. But I'm uh, maybe going to be a little bit more wary this morning. That's gone past again. Slow down, slow down. They're really quick, you know, but really true as well, which is, uh, and again, I tried to lay off that one a little bit. So, A little uh, horrible one for par. Look a great deal, innit? Yep, tidied up for a par, and like I said, uh, got away with it a bit. It wasn't the greatest iron off the tee, but if uh, a good baden and uh, starts off, there was no shots there, obviously, so all square. Right, next hole is um, 16th. Uh, we're going to play literally 15, 16, 17, uh, and maybe one other bonus hole. 3, 4, 6, stroke 12, no shot. But it looks lo really interesting. You perhaps can't pick it up off the camera there, but uh, a lot of water down that left-hand side. So certainly don't want to be there, and fairly tight off the tee as well. There's not much option but to go straight down the middle, but uh, I've not been playing too great with this yesterday, so we need a good one. We haven't got one. It's a, it's a cut off the right, and I think that could be near to what looks like the 18th green, which you can't see, but way behind them trees. But as I said, not the best shot. With this tailor-made mini driver, it ain't happening at the minute with this club. I'm struggling off the tee. We're just talking about Stoke Park as a golf course so far. Uh, I love the clubhouse. It's got a great feel about the place. Uh, I imagine there's a lot of things going on, a lot of history in that clubhouse. And like I said earlier, great place to stay. Uh, but a whole layout is, uh, I don't know how many acres it's spread across, but it's a fantastic facility. Um, indoor element, again, is uh, if, if, if the rain's too much and you can't get out on the course, then get into this new golf zone area, um, which is simulated golf, but with a, a plate that moves underneath you, which is incredible. So it, it imitates the lies that you would find 
um, out here on the fairway. And they've actually um, got Stoke Park on the simulator. And if you were in this line now, on this position on the simulator, you'd be faced with a downhill line and the, the plate moves uh, to adjust to that. But anyway, I'm in the rough. It wasn't the best of shots, but it was the best place to miss because we've got a line in. It's a great backdrop there. Um, I've got 110 in. And I've already got uh, a bit of half a set. I'm hitting a, a pitching wedge. Uh, and it obviously won't be a full one. The line's not too bad, to be fair. Question is, is that a good half a wedge? Because it's online. Oh, a nasty little bounce. Just come up a little bit short. Uh, it was right online. Now I thought it was good, but it kicked to the right. And I think we're just around the fringe somewhere. Happy with that, though. Right, as I say, just come, I can't believe that it's kicked right because everything sort of cameras off and I'm in a terrible position in terms of... I hope you can hear me over the geese. They're nice to look at, but they don't half make a din. Um, yet no green to work with and I thought it would have kicked over to the, uh, the left. But as I say at the minute, nothing... Nothing to play with here at all. Stop! Do you know what? I don't think I could have played that any better. I'm more than happy with it, but you can see it just raced on. It was uh, straight downhill. And as I say, not a great deal I could have done with that one. So we've got this for the um, this for the par. Don't forget, no shots. So I said it on the previous hole. What's impressive, though, to be fair, is that how firm it still is. And believe me, we've had a lot of rain in the UK over the last few days. Um, but that was quite a firm bounce. Well, the one thing I know is if I miss, I've lost it. So it's, uh, we can have a bold effort at it. I don't think there's a great deal in it. So I'm going to try and be fairly positive and right at the old. Well, it just died off at the end, um, maybe with a bit firmer, maybe I wasn't positive enough because a bit firmer, I don't think there was a great deal in it, but when it uh, slowed in pace, I lost it a bit. Anyway, that's one down for the average golfer. Right, I talked about the history about this place, but uh, they filmed some uh, pretty infamous films around this place. Um, Goldfinger is the one that I've always recalled the building for, but I've since found out I was staying in the room where uh, Bridget Jones's diary was filmed last night. Uh, layer cake's been filmed here. Tomorrow Never Dies has also been filmed here. Now they've got the average golfer filming here. Right, anyway, uh, this is all 17, 405, stroke index four. Um, and the way I've been hitting this thing, I'm gonna need a, need a shot, otherwise this is gonna be, yeah, 405, it's all about carry. See if we can change it up a bit. Oh, and you've hit one, hallelujah. I needed that as well because this hole is uh, going to be playing plenty long enough. By far the best golf shot of it all morning and uh, I'm going to need it because don't forget I'm one down. Can I make the um, I haven't got enough clubs in my bag excuse at this point? But uh, I haven't got enough clubs in my bag. This is, uh, I've got 165 into the wind. Uh, reality for me it's probably a 5 iron and I haven't got it. So I'm going to hit 6. Um, by far the best tee shot that I've hit today. So let's even get this bit right. Great golf hole. Um, again, I don't know how high the camera is or what you can pick up, but water all down the left-hand side. But we're in, uh, in a great position. Oh, and I'm really struggling today. That's bunker right. In fact, it's not bunker right, it was that poor, it's not even made bunker right. It's pulled up just a little bit short. I golf's hard some days, isn't it? And uh, I don't know why, I just literally, I just didn't hit the ball particularly great yesterday. And uh, I'm struggling today, but the sun's shining and, and you're playing golf at Stoke Park, so stop whinging. And I've still got a chance. Uh, it's not a great miss, I'm missing on the wrong side as well. Um, so it's going to have to go high. And I don't think... We've got a great deal of green to work with, so uh, wish me luck. Oh, 
Is it good? Is it good? Oh! Do you know what? It's quite good. I'm happy with that. I probably just ran on a little bit more than you've seen it sooner than I did, but ran on a little bit more than I wanted, but uh, yeah, happy with that. Right, we got a uh, sneaky little half there, great up and down, but I'm gonna have a deciding hole. And I seen this hole when I was walking through earlier. It's hole number 21, would you believe? Three loops and nine here at Stoke Park. I've got 141 into the breeze. Again, another hole that's featured on many films, I believe, or at least the bridge has. We've got a little bit of smoke in the way, which is ruining the visual, but uh, one good tee shot. Drifted out right. Well, we're above dry ground. It's uh, like most of the iron shots this morning. They're not quite on song. Right-hand side of the green. Can we make it up and down? We'll soon find out. Right, so above ground, not too far away from the water, but uh, and there's quite a big camber from right to left, pin right at the back here. A real nice setting to play some golf. It really is. Like, concentrate, and come on. Stay there. Stay. Wow. I you know what? I actually thought it was a good shot. I think hopefully the other camera's picked up how far that has gone past. It just didn't get any check at all. And uh, when it went off the club face, I actually thought it was all right. Right, so it is literally uh, one point. I can't believe, like I said, but it is quite severe when you get to this part of the hole, I suppose. But um, I thought that was an half decent little chip shot. Anyway. It's a putt for the half, or uh, Stoke Park has beat me. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, I thought I had that. Maybe just uh, a little bit too firm, but I was going uphill, but... Uh, Hey, it sums up the day really, it's not been quite great in terms of the golf, but the golf course has been fantastic and uh, I think hopefully what we always try and do in these videos is uh, yeah, watch me play a little bit of a challenge in terms of golf, but show off some of the golf course, in this case in the UK and Stoke Park, a, a great um, parkland venue. Greens have been fantastic for time of year. Uh, I did mention earlier, I think there's a fair few special offers going on to come and play this place at the moment. and. Uh, from my part, even though the golf wasn't great, uh, a stunning venue. So, uh, yeah, Stoke Park wins on this occasion.